Yeah, I grew up in those days. Of course, when we would go down the streets in our little town, if a white woman and a man was coming in front of us, we were supposed to step off the sidewalk and let them get by. Uh, separate everything, separate waiting room for black and white. And they had a white and women room and a man room, but there was just one room for us and it was in the back and was always dirty. Couldn't sit down in the front of a restaurant and eat. Well, my mother uh, died when I was seven months old. My father couldn't read or write. I'm a third grade dropout. Uh, my brother was killed by the policeman when I was a boy. And, and all of those horrible things. When I was being tortured in the Brandon jail, is when I saw the absolute necessity for reconciliation. I saw the depths of racism. What was significant about that in my healing, in the hospital after that, it, it was those white people who I didn't really want around me but I was forced to be there because they were the doctors and the nurses, and they continued to love me. They become the one that washed out my wound, and we began to heal each other. And that's when I said, Lord, I want to preach a gospel that can reconcile black, white, Jews and Gentiles together in one body. If it's a broken relationship, we got to get together, we got to work together, we got to stay together. And, and that's what reconciliation would look like.